Well, top of the morning to everyone. Um, what I'm doing is a short video over how to create the virtual band, virtual uh, choir using iMovie. Um, this is not the best way to do it, but it is a way to do it um, on a budget. Uh, it assuming you're only going to use um, maybe s uh, five or six uh, people. Um, there are more expensive programs to use, but you can do it on iMovie using this procedure. So I'm going to outline that as I'm doing my uh, next one. For okay, I'm going to be back here. I'm back with Logic, Eye of the Storm, and I have my... Uh, track here that we are uh, using we we've purchased this one um, this uh, you can build them or you can uh, purchase them. in this case we purchased it now I have my first uh, video back from on my band members and slide that over like so Extract audio, yes. I'm going to hit uh, unlock and I need to sync the song. Uh, if you'll notice the uh, words here. Okay, so it's, you know, it's not right. So um, in this case, you just have to find where it comes in with the first part of the song. So solid ground should be right there. Uh, so we're gonna take a little bit more off of the beginning there, and we will slide him back. So that's um, that's gonna be that's gonna be acceptable. Sometimes it's a lot easier when you're using drums or guitar. Um, there's a little bit of room for variation with the voice because you know you have some inaccuracies, uh, those types of things. If you have a real rhythmic part, you can synchronize it. You know, uh, you might be able to show an example of a. Okay, yeah, for instance, Storm, right there, may be a place where you could get a little more accurate. Uh, zoom in here. Yeah, Storm is right there. So on that symbol hit, you have Storm. Um, ours is actually pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it and call that good. And then as we go through this, uh, what I've been doing, obviously balancing, um, in this case, our um, music's a little louder. So, you don't hang up here. Um, online, uh, we've noticed and music's got to be kind of level with the voice because if the voice is too hot, then it almost sounds out of tune because your ear doesn't adjust to the chord progressions of the music. So uh, we've we've noticed you've got to get the music up to a certain level. I was listening online for it to sound right. Um, then I'm also going to come over here and do some some basic uh, settings. Uh, I'm going to go uh, vocals. Um, uh, what did I do last time? That I'm just kind of experiment what what seems to work good. Uh, last time I did uh, male basic. Um, I also put some reverb. Uh, and I actually saved it as golden vocals. It seemed to 
be pretty good. Um, see if I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear in this recording. And this particular, uh, Brian's actually recording this with some, in a reverb area, so I'm going to reduce the, uh, reduce his, uh, reverb a little bit, because he already has some on there. And a couple, a couple other things you can do. Um, by the way, if you're, uh, you don't have enough signal, um, just you can go. I could. People have all these things on YouTube on how to use um, Logic, but uh, you there's a cool thing of gain. Um, so you could always put your uh, gain in. Where is gain? Gain, I think maybe in dynamics. Um, or it's in audio units. Uh, well, anyways, I'm not going to waste my entire video on finding gain. Oh, there it is. It's in utility. So if you needed more here, notice we're at high uh, here in our volume. Then we could just bump the gain just a little bit like that. <clears throat> then you have to bring this back down. And that's going to be. So that's another thing that you can use on that. Let's jump over to iMovie for a minute and I will show you what I'm doing in iMovie. Um, what in the world? Okay, there we go. And then what we're trying to do is we are going to produce something that eventually looks like one of these guys here uh, with our multi multi group band. That's what we're eventually going to uh, come up with here. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and start a fresh movie. Um, this is that one. We will throw in the movie that we just uh, worked with, which was this one. Um, then we will <clears throat> throw in our background. In this case, we're just going to use a black background of uh, stars. We'll have to adjust the uh, length of it. Um, Okay, so we'll uh, link it to there. And we will do a picture in picture. And sometimes you have to kind of see all of your videos that you have. Some people are recording on their phones and they're uh, tall. Some are in this shape. <clears throat> so, and their thing is uh, Brian's doing basically the lead part on this one, so uh, maybe consider that. Uh, so we're just going to put him in the left hand square. And then in this case, you don't have to synchronize any audio because you only have one uh, movie. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and and share to file and hit uh, the storm one and desktop and then in a minute I'll, sh I'll go ahead and stop it and we'll kick back in on what to do next okay we're resuming after the video was processed so I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of this in my uh, timeline 
and we're going to put in the process video. Uh, this is probably the biggest time consuming thing is, you know, having to process it so many times. Um, like I was saying, this is one of the limitations of iMovie, um, but it is a way to do it. It's not the easiest, but it is a way to do it. Um, now we have this as our video now, and we need to add person number two, which uh, currently, you know, if we're on Thursday morning, I don't have the uh, rest of the videos for either storm. Um, so we're going to um, you know, wait till we uh, put the get the videos all resume once we get those. But basically, uh, you'll put the you'll have it here. You'll put it on top, picture in picture. Slide the video over to this side. Uh, arrange it however you can, and then you'll have to synchronize the uh, voices. So you may have to slide it forward or backwards so all the mouths and things and instruments are moving at the same time. And then um, you know process it again until you have your final thing. And then uh, at the final one, you will uh, get your final mix down here and add your um, audio from Logic to your uh, mix here. Okay, I'm back here with Eye of the Storm. I'm going to wrap this one up tonight, and I'll just use it as our example video for this um, how to create the virtual band choir thing. I uh, have my other videos in. Here I have uh, Leslie. Go ahead and uh, extract audio. I uh, have uh, Greg, I think. Extract the audio. And uh, one more. Um, David. Okay, so we'll extract audio on those guys. And like I said before, we'll take the lock off. Um, yeah. And next we have to sync this audio, which can be a bit of a chore, depending on you know, how, how accurate it is. Uh, let's see what's... And some people aren't are doing just uh, harmony. In the eye of the storm. So she's just starting on Eye of the Storm. So we need to uh, bring that to the chorus. Um, okay, so it'll be easier if I mute those guys and only work on one at a time. All right there, Storm. If I was smart, I'd make a marker there. So I just did that so I can identify that part. And if you're hearing a lot of extra background noise, that's because I have five kids. And you're, that's just the way this goes around here in this coronavirus thing. Okay, so I want Storm to be right there. Okay, see where I goofed up. Okay, and you can see how these patterns can also kind of match up. So, uh, you spread it up there. You can kind of match the patterns together as well, which um, helps. Okay. So that's going to be close enough. Let's go ahead and line up these other ones. Let's see what he did.
So here we have um, David Guitar. Go ahead and label that one right there is David Guitar. Um, let me go ahead and bring this to the beginning here. Okay, I'm not sure where he came in. That might be where he came in. Okay, I think he might have come in at the top, and that's why, um, you know, this is going to take a while for me to get this one. Um, let me back this all the way up to the very top of this. So right there is, I think, where he came in. Let's make sure that sounds right. There we go. I think that's going to work. So we're going to leave David Guitar alone, and let's jump up here to Greg Vocal. You see nothing's happening till right here, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Um, and let's see if he might come in on Eye of the Storm. Okay, yeah, he did. And remember, we had a marker on that right there. So we'll try to match those shapes up with the uh, ones below us. There we go. You can zoom in. That helps as well. There we go. Okay. Yep. That is that. In the eye of storm. Okay, you can see he's a little ahead of them, and I can hear he's ahead of them, so we can also see it, and we're going to bring that to there. everybody back together. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, reverbs and those sort of things. Um, and you can you know, make sure everything's working correctly. And this is how I've been doing it. Um, you know, you can do whatever your preference is. There's a lot of different um, options on here. And I'm by no means an expert. I'm, I'm just I know enough to be dangerous, basically, and that's what I'm you know, doing the best I can on it. Okay, so we were right here. One other little thing I've been doing is just adding, um, I'm going to turn it on flex pitch. Um, and and if you get it too much, uh, it doesn't it just doesn't sound right. 
Um, so I'm selecting everything. I'm raising it to about 30%, right around in there. It cleans it up. If it's too much, it takes any inaccuracies and moves it to the wrong note, um, which then you have to go through and figure out which one's the wrong notes. This just kind of cleans up the existing notes. And then if you hear anything, I've been stopping. And setting um, you know female vocal uh, and then throw some reverb in not what I've been using um, and let's see how that let's take let's take that from the top and see that Okay, so you know, making sure the levels are blending right, and then another big uh, important thing is to listen to it um, on you know, good quality speaker or even uh, good quality headphones makes a big difference on a lot of these details as we're going through here, and I've kind of learned over doing this. <clears throat> and then the David guitar, we didn't do any f um, effects to it. Um, a basic guitar setting would probably be a good idea. Throw so it'll put a compressor on it to um. You know, something were to you know, jump out, it would compress it down. Uh, these are, there's a lot of settings here that I probably don't want to. Um, it alter the sound too much. Yeah, something like that is going to be way too much changing for what I'm looking for. I just want some simple guitar setting. Um, basic thing. Guitar track. Blues, let's try that. No. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna come up here and do uh, reset channel strip. I'm going to throw EQ, guitar, um, electric guitar, something like that. No, not that. I'm just going to go clean up guitar. There we go. I'm going to put uh, compression, go down here to dynamics, put some compression on, see if it has a guitar option, it does. Um, um, trench guitar, that's what the compression looks like.
Say it. Man. He's not even playing right now. Okay, we're going to start back here. Um, record the entire screen. Okay, get my screen going. And we're back in Eye of the Storm uh, iMovie. I have my three additional videos here. Um, so for this one, we're just going to use a total of four, uh, which will be good. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna join on that one. Um, there's a track, and you know I'm not playing, and I don't think we really need uh, any extra harmony. So on this one, I think we're gonna be good with these four. And I am uh, got to figure out uh, the best spacing of this now. So we have one square um, spaced, and then we have three of these uh, kind. Um, so, and then um, you know, Brian does do the lead part as well for the you know the verses and those things. So, um, what the, what I'm gonna do here? All right. I'm back here. Um, I've just decided to uh, you know, do the best I can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get her synced up. Uh, she comes in on Eye of the Storm, which is around right there. In the eye of the storm. Okay, so we got to um, sync these as well. And yes, this is time consuming, but this is the only way I can. I see to do it using iMovie, and so, and like I said before, we're just sitting around the house, right? So, may as well do something positive. Uh, okay, here we go. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. Um, you know, theoretically, a person could just use iMovie only. If they had a you know, really good recording and not have to use logic, but I um, prefer to do that. Just, you know, you can make it a lot cleaner sound if you add, uh, you know, your effects and things like that. There you go. You remain in control. Okay. Then we're going to use uh, picture in picture again. First of all, get her back to the beginning. Uh, and that's the beginning of hers. After we're in the final cut, we'll trim it up here at the beginning. But okay, picture in picture. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put um, hers over on the side here since it's kind of um, long uh, shaped video. And then what I was planning to do is just uh, fill this area with uh, Greg's and David's um, the best we can. So I will pause it and come back as I get towards the end of the um, what I ended up with. And we'll see what the final product looks like. Okay, I'm back with my final setup here for Eye of the Storm. Uh, we, I had to reverse uh, once or twice based on the size. Um, if you'll notice uh, up here, I had um, 
you know, these three sizes and it was a little challenging and I ended up getting this one too big. So I had to reverse it and this is what I ended up with, which I think is going to turn out pretty good. I've got him uh, by himself uh, during the verse. And then I've got the entire group like that. Now, I did use this uh, track from Logic um, in the video before this, so this audio down here is actually that, so I'm not worried about any, um, it's still going to be clean audio, and make sure you're lowering the volume levels on your individual clips once you're done with that. And I did do, so I know there's better ways to do lyrics. I did do, I got a title there and I've got these lyrics coming up here. Okay, so I think that's going to conclude my um, basic training on this. Thank you for watching. Um, I know there are easier and uh, probably better ways to do it, but this is how I figured out to do it with the items that I currently own. And, um, you know, it's stuck at home anyways for the COVID pandemic. Um, God bless you guys. And, uh, you know, we'll get through this.